Welcome to part two of this video, and I'm going to finish building up this kayak. I want to get the boat down to 13 pounds. To get there, I have to integrate a seat instead of getting one from Goodwill. Since the bottom of the boat is in a shallow V shape, I recycle the packaging foam to create a level support for the seat. I encapsulated the foam pieces together with 4 mm thick coral plast. I then heat fused the support piece onto the boat. I also used coral plast to create a support for the back of the seat. As you can see, it can fold up and down easily. I found out a very easy and a low cost method to create L brackets for the seat harness. I heated the PVC pipe and then sandwiched it in between two pieces of plywood and then I stepped on it to flatten the pipe. The challenge is to figure out where to locate the seat. I really have to find out doing water test. The foot rest is a very simple design. However, the placement is affected by the location of my seat also. I doubled up the floor in the strategic areas only so as not to add extra weight. I heat fused the extra layers onto the floor and this extra layer is 6 mm thick coalplast. I used a 3 quarter inch in diameter PVC pipe to create a cross beam. I mounted this to the gunnel using screws. This piece helped me to secure the boat on my car top rack. I have added one more cross beam in the front. This will be used as the support for the mast. After I test this kayak, I will convert that to a sailboat. At this stage, the boat is ready for water test and the overall weight is at around 13 pounds. If, if you find this video interesting, please subscribe, give me a like. I believe I should be able to test the boat two boats, uh, Gen 9 and Gen 10, in the next two days. Thanks for watching. Bye.